Shalom, shalom. Sapomos. Alain lai hao. Bahashem yahau shai, bahashem kakodash. And double honest. To the apostle elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations uh, onto the elect. Right, so the video is more so for, uh, you know, you younger, younger men, you know, teens, early 20s. You know, that's uh, coming up in the, in this world. You know, you, you're experiencing manhood, adulthood, and you you know you're going through different things, and just some life advice and just some help, because uh, you know I know you all gonna go through these things, you know, dealing with your members and the flesh and all that, man. So it's very important that you're able to control it, you know. Because um, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, detrimental to you in the long run when you are uh, constantly choking a chicken, man. You constantly your mind's in a in a in a in a dark place. You know what I'm saying? Addict, because uh, you could get addicted to this type of stuff. It becomes an addiction to you, you know. Um, and we don't want to be addicted to anything on this side. Everything's an uh, becomes an addiction to you. It's bad, you know, in a sense. Especially everything that that they that they give you in this world, like everything that's that's supposed to be like pleasurable to your flesh, is ultimately ends up being bad for you. Like sweets, uh, you know what I'm saying? Soda, juices, and shit like that. Now, everything that's pleasurable to you. That the flesh enjoys that make you feels good is ultimately bad for you. Everything that's everything that's uh, um, that makes you feel good in this place is 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 more than likely bad for you. you know, that's just the that's just the reality. You know, whatever whatever feels good to your flesh more than likely is bad for you. you know? Again, all these foods that taste good to you. You know, hamburgers and, you know, uh, uh, even like red meat steaks and all that. Uh, even though it is lawful, to, you know, you can eat uh, beef and stuff like that. It's still it's still going to be. Um, it's still going to be detrimental to you in the long run if you eat too much of it, you know. So whatever, whatever you whatever feels good to you is usually bad for you. you know what I'm That's why during the Passover and all that, you take the bitter herbs, man. That don't, that don't, that don't taste good, you know. It don't, it don't taste good, but it reminds you of the bitterness of the Lord, you know, the bitterness of the truth. You know what I'm saying? The bitterness of, of being in this faith of ours, man. But, you know what I'm saying? For you younger brothers, man, uh, you know, all of us really, but when you coming up, bro, you got to, it's very difficult. You get them urges at three in the morning, two in the morning, at all times. When you're a young man, even when you're older, you still get them urges, man. You still, you know, still, and you could easily go on your phone, watch some porn. To watch uh, Instagram models naked all day, you know, you start touching on yourself too much. That's a uh, that's a bad thing, and we all been there, you know. We all been there. Everybody done been there, you know. So that's not a good thing, bro. And it destroys your mind, man. So for it's best for you to uh, learn how to control it. So that, it, uh, this is the Cyrex 19 and the uh, first verse. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. And he that contended small things shall fall little by little. So you could think like, oh, nobody's watching me. You know, ah, that's cool. I just, you know, I, I, I start over tomorrow and all that shit. But you got this whole no, no fap thing in today's world called no fap, which has its benefits. But at the end of the day, the Lord made us be fruitful and multiply. That's why it says in 1 Corinthians 7, that if a man um, uh, burn, let him marry, you know, let him have his own woman to avoid adultery. Now, we understand that in this world, uh, most men are sexually deprived because the women are, they're not fucking with you unless you got some money or you, you, you're a nigga or you're in school and stuff like that. But once you get older, like 30, 20 some years old, women are not readily accessible to you because you're not in school. You're not in high school. And shit like that unless you like 
put yourself out there, stuff like that, and you're dealing with life, you're going to have harder time dealing with women than you were when you're young. But anyways, you, if you contend small things little by little, you're going to fall. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're like, nah, nah, it's okay. I just watch this porn now. And then whatever, ain't nobody watching me. You know, I start, you know, ugh, look, your conscience condemn you. Like your own, like, you know, you know shit is not right. You know you shouldn't be sitting there, you know, expending your life force on yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, there's productive things you could be doing. And it affects your mind, body, and spirit. You know what I mean? When you're constantly in there touching on yourself, looking at another man, dealing with another woman, or you're looking at some naked woman, you know what I'm saying? Well, at the end of the day, it's not real. It's not real. Your mind, your brain gets programmed to, to, to see things that's not real. And to be aroused by shit that's not real. Some pixel on the screen. You know what I mean? It just destroys your psyche. So what ends up happening later on in life is you, you end up having problems with your relationships. You know, you end up having problems with your women. You know, this is what, this, 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 this is what happens to these men. You know, they, they end up having problems. They can't sustain a relationship properly with a woman. You know, they, they got a they got a woman in there naked next to them. You know, they can't get aroused because they've been doing so much choking of that chicken, you know, which is unhealthy. At the end of the day, it destroys your libido, your your drive, your sex drive. Like re in real life, you know, you, you, you lose ambition to do shit, you know, take care of business. You start you start, you know, other parts of your life are affected by the fact that you can't you control your sexual urges, you, still, you know. Other parts of your life, here it is. Now, now you're moody. You're angry. You, 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 you have a chemical imbalance in your head. You know, when you constantly just, you know, you gotta. That's what's called dopamine. This dopamine hits that's in your brain. That your that this is supposed to be the reward system for your brain. So things that feel good, you know, you get a healthy amount of dopamine. Like you know, when somebody gives you a compliment or something like that, that's a you get a dopamine hit. Like your ego get boost. Oh shit, you know what I mean? That, that pretty girl said, I, "I'm I'm a good looking dude." You know, that's a, that, that's a that's a dopamine hit. You know, that's why the social media they want to constantly keep you uh, with these notifications. All these notifications give you dopamine hits. Oh yeah, people like me. Boom 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 boom. That's why I like you know it's good to get off social media. I got off that fucking shit and uh, I feel really good. My mind just feel better. You know, because there's a lot of fake shit on there. A lot of fake people. A lot of fake. Uh, uh, news like donald trump said fake news <laughs> there's a lot of fake shit you know and and a lot of just you know just all these naked women and all this shit. at the end of the day it's cool but your brain just gets fogged down with all this nonsense bro your mind must be occupied in the meditation of the prophecies and the truth and healthy things you know as it says in Psalm 39 he that giveth his mind to the law of the lord how about you shy is occupied in the meditation thereof and is conversing in the wisdom of all the ancients, man. You know, so the, the men of the ancient world, like King David and them, and you know, they weren't sitting there choking the chicken, man, all day. Our Lord Yahweh he wasn't sitting there choking the chicken all day. You know, they were actually like productive men. You know, in today's world, uh, men are not men no more. You know, because they've been sexually deprived, they've been given too much uh, internet porn. You know, they've been given these like menial jobs to do, you know, men are not conquering shit no more. You know, they're not they're not even able to fight, throw a punch. You can't even throw a punch right. In today's world, a nigga can't throw a fucking punch right, man, because all he does is choke the chicken. So that destroys your libido. That destroys your manhood, man. You know, whatever's pleasurable to you is usually bad for you, man. You know, whatever you you, 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 you like, I got I got to smoke before I go to bed. That's that that's destroying you, man. That's destroying your mind, your brain cells. But that feels good for the body. It feels good to smoke some weed. It feels good. That shit feels good. Uh, who, who's gonna deny that shit? But it's bad for your lungs, bad for your spirit, your mind. Okay, you become lazy. You become unproductive. Okay, so when you're dealing as a young man, as a well, as a man in general, you know it's best to not be overly sexualized in your life. Like your mind shouldn't be everything about sex. And it's hard because in this world, like you got naked women everywhere with tight clothes on and shit everywhere. So you you your natural instinct as a man is to deal with women. That's a natural instinct, bro. But at the end of the day, it's gonna cause you a lot of trouble in in the, in your life when you constantly over sexualize everything. 
you, everything's going to be about sex. You can't even establish a real relationship with a girl without even it always had to be about, you know what I'm saying? You just look at her ass like a, like a sex toy, you know? When, you know, she got feelings, she's a person and shit like that. And she got, she, you know, she got a personality to her and she's just not a hole that you stick it in. That's, that's, that's in today's world, like, you know, basically the, 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 the woman had to become like a hole you stick it in. You just look at her like a, like a, like a, like a piece of cheese, like a piece of steak with cheese on it, you know, a sandwich, you know, like a, like a, like a hamburger. You just want to devour it. But there's a lot of intricacies and delicacies that, uh, a lot of intricacies that go into the woman. She's just not just like some, you know, some damn piece of meat that you just see there. But that's what the world got you programmed to think. Every day you, you wake up in the morning and you and you turn on your 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 Instagram, whatever you got, Facebook, and you seeing some naked holes on there, and now you start touching yourself and stuff. That's that's unproductive. That's unproductive, you know. That's not conducive to anything. Your energy go low, your uh your mind is, is, is in is in a, is, is not all occupied on productive things. You know I say like the great men of the uh, the history of the world, they they their women is not the forefront of their of their thought process. Like they're actually thinking about important things. You know what I'm saying? Like like taking care of business, uh, 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 you know, conquering empires, and, and you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, in our case, you know, the work of the Lord. But uh, if your mind's in the second place. Then you won't be in the right mind frame to serve the Lord, and you won't be a good dad. You know what I'm saying? Your ass. You, this, why do you think these these older men start touching the kids and shit? Because they themselves was choking the chicken too long, and their brain just started. You know, they start dealing with the. The scriptures say you should not deal with the mother. Or like if you're dealing with a woman, she got a kid. You can't touch the kid. They start touching the kid because they they they, they got these weird fantasies in their head from all this all this peace stuff they be watching. You know, so they so they watching. You know. Uh, uh, family members get it on and all this shit, role playing. So then, it, so then their brain becomes, you know, destroyed. You know, but for you young younger brothers and you know whatever you brothers got a lot of libido, a lot of uh, testosterone and shit. You know, and you know you're you're, you're full of life. You know? So the urge is to start touching yourself and shit like that because it's so readily available and easy, and you're gonna get you know, but. You know, uh, it's 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 not a it's not conducive to anything really uh, profitable for you, because your mind is gonna be just in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a nasty place, in a gutter place, in a, in a <laughs> and then you're gonna go and do things that's not you know you don't get with women that's not right. You're gonna go and get with you. You gonna go to a club and start you know let your lust take over you, and then you're gonna end up in fucked up situations with fucked up women, not being able to control yourself, man, not being able to control. You know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, this is why niggas sell their soul, because they can't control their ride. So they want to get the money so they can get their lust off and shit, you know? So they can get what they want. But anyways, Sirach 19.1, it says, A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. He that contemns small things shall fall little by little. So that could be a small thing, right? In your in your, in your head, man, uh, you know, it's cool that I'll just, I'll just get it. I'll just, I'll just take care of that later. Today, you know, you might you feel shame, you know, after you start doing all that shit. But then you you fall by little little matters, man. Like like in your head, that could be a little matter. The whole you know porn thing and you know the masturbation thing and all that. But at the end of the day, you could fall little by little because that, that those are like gateways for demons start messing with you and shit. Then then other other things that you see, man, you know if, that, that ain't that big of a deal, you know, that ain't that big of a deal. So. It says, you, you, he that contempts small things shall fall little by little. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. See, wine is, is a mocker, right? It's good to make a man, like, uh, happy, but it also could destroy you. So anything in, in excess is not good for you. But um, when it comes to women, they're, they're a two-edged sword, man. You know, women are, it's a beautiful thing to deal with women. You know, it's a beautiful thing to get your rocks off. It's a beautiful thing, you know, she's in there, you, you, you sitting there getting all sweaty with her and shit, you know what I'm saying? She's in there screaming your name, all kind of shit, that shit's nice. Okay, but um, understand that she could be your fucking downfall too. She's she's a pleasurable experience, but she's also hell too. So it's a, it's a love-hate relationship we have with the women, you know, but a man that's really um, in control of his life 
or like in in in, in his in his right mind, I should say. His, his his he's not controlled by his rod. He's not controlled by a woman, you know. Or, or his sexual desire is not going. His lust not going. You know. Yeah, it's there, but it's not going to control you. It's not going. You know, it's like it's like a little voice you hear in the back of your head. And shit, look at that ass right there. But 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 you're able to. No 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 no. I'm not going to be controlled by you, damn devil, she devil. You are not going. <laughs> you are not. You is not going to uh, destroy me. Nope, I, I, that's no good right there. Okay, let me let me let me go ahead about my business, you know. Because you know, she could be your downfall. The scripts say that she's your glory. Yes, the woman is your glory, but she's also your damn downfall in this society. That's why it says Micah 7 and 10. She that is my enemy, shame shall cover her. That said to me, Where's the Lord that power? And she shall be tread down like the mire of the streets, like shit. Because in this world, these women are not really women that serve your ass like that. They're sitting there, um actually using you and using your sexual uh, lust that you have towards them as a weapon against you you know what i mean so don't let them use don't let them use the fact that you know what i'm saying uh, you may have a desire towards them against you but that's a tool that they use to uh, to get you up you know to get you to uh, to have power over you because they know that you know that a man has his needs, you know what I mean? But it says, uh, Sirach 19 and verse, wine and women will make men of understanding to fall, to fall away. He that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. He that cleaveth to hoes will become impudent, man. If you, if you are, uh, if you are Captain Saber Ho, you're gonna become impudent. You're gonna become, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna be broke. Uh, you're gonna be getting used, and your life, you're gonna be miserable. You're gonna be heartbroken. Uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna do you dirty. You know if you're not, unable to control your sexual desires, you're gonna take disrespect from these women. You know you're gonna allow them to walk all over your ass. Also, you could all in the name of sexual satisfaction, which is not worth it. They're gonna emasculate your ass based upon, because of the fact that you're not able to control. Your sexual desires, because they know that that's their number one weapon to use against you. The number one weapon they use is to know that they got that fat old ass, and they know that you need to get off as, uh, more than they do, because they don't have a high sex drive like you do. Most of them, the ones that do are, some, you know, recall fast. They, 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 they're like, uh, the ones that are, you know, they really jumping around from man to man. A man jumps around from women to woman because he has the desire to reproduce right it's a biological thing the most high set up be fruitful multiply as he told us genesis the third chapter but uh but in this world it's been weaponized against you so you need to learn how to play the game learn life is the game you need to learn how to play it when you don't are not in control of the joystick the, the, the game is all out of whack your money is leaving you your uh, uh, uh people are accusing you of see and them, they couldn't control their rod. So what happens? They end up in prison. R. Kelly in prison. You got not, not, they got weird fantasies and shit where you peeing on people, and now normal sex not good enough no more because you're constantly choking that chicken, and it just becomes like, oh, this is not good enough no more. You know, you're watching these weird images, you're participating in, in, in weird acts. So like a normal relationship with a woman is no longer good enough no more. You know. That's where that's where that's where you get the term erectile dysfunction from. ED erectile dysfunction. That your rod don't stand up. Okay. King David had erectile dysfunction in his old age when he was uh first king first chapter. They brought the little young girl to him and they said, Hey, uh, bring my king some heat, get him some heat. And he couldn't because he was old. But in today's world, you got young men with ED. Young men, young men, erectile dysfunction, rod don't work. Why is that? Because too much internet porn, too much drugs, too much weed, too much this, that. It affects your, your clock, your heart, but your heart makes everything else work, pumps blood to your vessels, and ultimately down there where you get the, 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 the wood rocket, you know? So when, you, <laughs> when you're when you able to do that, that means that, that really you're, you're dying because a man, that, that that's his, uh that's your manhood, right? That's your, that's your, uh, uh, that's your organ, right? Your main organ. So, 
when you got erectile dysfunction at an early age, it comes from too much choking of the chicken, too much porn, too much not contact with, with a real person, a real, a real woman, a real interaction, a real, you know, all that fake shit, all that social media, all that phone, you know, looking at the phone, all that, that get outside, go into nature, you know, breathe, eat some real food, talk to women, you know what I'm saying? Say what's up, get rejected a few times. Sometimes you got to get rejected, you know, get rejected. And yeah, it is what it is. Fuck it. You know, then you, you, then you gain some confidence. You're, you're able to speak in public in front of people. You're able to, to talk to a beautiful woman and get rejected and move on with your life, you know, or, or may get her. And you may end up bagging some chick you never thought you'd bag. But, but you got to throw yourself out there. Stop being scared. No, oh, oh, just gotta keep choking the chicken every fucking night, every day of the week, and then feeling bad for yourself and shit about, oh, oh, because all that does is it make you feel bad about yourself because it's not real. You're sitting there touching yourself. If you can see yourself from another person's perspective, that's why people do that shit in the closet because it's like, it's embarrassing, right? If you can see yourself, you wouldn't do that shit. You wouldn't do that shit in public, you know, because people will judge you, you know, right? Well, you know, you got to kind of like hold yourself accountable with these kind of things so that you don't fall constantly in these traps. You know, the flesh gets you, Satan pops in your ear, and he knows that that damn lust is in you. So he's going to try to, you know, use it against you, but you got to be stronger than this devil. The, the, uh, Peter said what? They, uh, the Lord told Peter, Satan had desired to sift you as weak as sifted, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not, man. So the the the, de the devil, the spiritual demon, Satan, I should say, he will come after you uh, through your through your members. That's why the scripture say, "Mortify your members upon the earth." Okay, so Sirach nineteen and verse three: Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. He that cleave to harlots will become an impudent man. Right? Moths and worms shall have him to heritage, and a bold man shall be taken away. He that is hasty to credit, light minded. And he that sinner shall offend against his own soul. Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned. But he that resists pleasure crown his life. So if you can resist pleasure, you can crown your life. You know? The scriptures speak about the eunuchs, right? You know, of course the Lord doesn't expect us not to ever touch a woman, you know. I mean, that's very hard. But you have to find a way to be able to abstain, you know, abstain from the fleshly lusts. You know, that's why you it's good for you to get uh, have a woman or whatever. It's good for you to have women that you can deal with, you know. It's good for you to uh, uh, be able to talk to people, communicate. So you could communicate with a woman so you could get a real woman. So you could, you know, so you don't have to start touching yourself every fucking day. You know? So you can have her touch you. That's a healthy thing. It's a healthy thing for a man to get to touched by his woman. And that's a healthy, natural thing, okay? Because what it creates uh, uh, uh life it creates uh, you know that's healthy your brain is operating in a healthy way that's a real woman with a real it's a real life woman that you're dealing with not yourself you ain't sitting there touching yourself all day that's not good it's not good to be sitting there touching on yourself all fucking day okay because it does lead to health problems it leads to relationship problems it leads to your ass being a weirdo unable to look people in their eyes and say how you doing shake a motherfucking hand and be like hey brother you know, you know, as a, the people who are socially awkward and they got this weird, it's because they, they, they don't get out enough. They don't talk to people. They don't say, hey, you know, you got to be able to smile and shit, and crack some jokes and tell stories and shit and be a be a human being, be a person and not a fucking robot sitting there touching yourself all day long. You know, all kind of bottles of lube and shit all over yourself. You know, that's not normal. That's some new shit that, 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 that has been happening since this Internet age came about. In the ancient world, men wasn't sitting there touching on themselves all fucking day. They weren't sitting there choking the chicken, talking about, ooh, that's fake. It's not real. Get you a fucking real woman, you know? Even if she doesn't, she's not the greatest looking woman. Was, okay, whatever. That's, that, 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 you know? But at least it's real, man. It's real. You know? It's a real thing, bro. You know? Hey, first, uh, Ezra 4 and 26. Yeah, there be um, many that have ran out their wits. Well, women have become serfs for their sake. Hey, shalom, brother. Hey, but um, but yeah, you gotta, you know, 
you gotta have some confidence. Oh, I'm fat. I'm this. I'm that. You ain't. You ain't as ugly as you think you are, man. You know. These. These. You. You. If you look at. Uh, you look. You. You. You look at these. These dudes that be pulling them. 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 Them fine looking women. Um. A lot of them. You know. Don't even be having a bunch of money. They just got some confidence, some charisma. They're not afraid to be rejected. They're not afraid to. You know. You know, just, 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 it's, 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 you know, this whole loner lifestyle and shit is not healthy. You know, it's not healthy to be sitting there touching on yourself all day. That's not healthy, man. Okay, that's not healthy. It's not conducive to anything. It's gonna conduce your ass. It's conducive for you to get erectile dysfunction. That's what's gonna cause you to do. So, like I said, you know, this no fat thing. <laughs> Hey, hey, but hey, but there's no <laughs> there's no fat thing, bro. Uh, it's not necessarily you know uh, uh, a bad thing, but you know if you sit there and and and, 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 and never let off for, for three, four, five, six months, I mean, it, it, I'm I'm pretty sure something up there is gonna you know <laughs> something up there you're gonna have some type of repercussions for not you know, but you know once in a while you got to get some woman in your action, some some you got to get some satisfaction, okay? But not every fucking day you're gonna sit there and. Bang. You know, don't sit there and choke yourself to death, okay? Because you're not gonna have any energy. You're not. You're gonna age quickly. Uh, your your member itself is gonna have problems. You are gonna have problems and shit. You know, taking a leak and, and do. You know what I'm saying? Just normal things like do. Just normal things that you do from day to day life. You're gonna have issues with because your brain is not wired to constantly get this dopamine hit every fucking five minutes. You know, it's not wired to do that. You gotta let it. You know. You gotta have balance with your life and everything you do. So, again, he that resists his pleasures crown his life. This <laughs> is nineteen to five. So, if you resist pleasures, you crown your life, man. Okay. And you you, you abstain from fleshly lust. The scripture say abstain from fleshly lust. That 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 do war against the soul, man. You know, it's not good for you. Whatever feels good for your flesh, whatever tastes good, more than likely is not good for you, man. Sweets, ice cream, weed, uh, pizza, hamburgers, bacon, pig, you know, sweet swine. And all that shit is bad for you. All that shit is bad for you, but it tastes good. It's bad to play the fucking video game 12 hours a day. That shit's bad because you're going to be a sedentary couch potato. And you're going to be fat as hell by the time you look, you know? And then you're gonna have problems, you know, going up the stairs, running, running. You know, you can't fit your clothes no more. You know, then you have health issues. All right. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, it says, uh, Sirach 23 and verse, uh, it says, uh, five. It says, Turn me away from vain hopes and concupiscence. Thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. Let not the greediness of the belly nor the lust of the flesh take hold of me and give me not, give not over me thy servant to an impudent mind. See, wine and women make you impudent. You know, there's too much lick drinking, too much liquor, too much drugs, too much uh, 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 pleasure makes you impudent. Give not your servant over to the greediness of the belly or the lust of the flesh, lest they take hold of me, right? So that shit will take hold of you, bro. It will take hold of you and turn your ass into a weekly. You know, it will turn you into a modern day American soy boy. You know, look at these modern day niggas. They, they can't, they they can't speak with a, you know, they can't tell the truth. You know, they can't talk to a woman. You know, they, you know, you hear them. You know, they get all emotional quick. You know, when you're sitting there talking to them. You know, they're unable to hold a conversation, unable to take accountability, you know, because of the fact that they, it all starts <laughs> up here and down there. It all, you know, it's all connected. It's all connected, man. It's all connected. You know, it's all connected, bro. So at the end of the day, you know, our job is to, uh, you know, uh, remain, you know, pure, a little bit pure in a sense. Because you can say, be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. So, you know, we're supposed to walk in the spirit so we fulfill not the lust of that flesh. You know, our Lord, like I said, our Lord, when he was on the scene, he wasn't walking around touching himself all day. You know? he, he wasn't doing that. The disciples weren't doing that. 
you know? They weren't doing that type of shit, okay? And I know it's hard. I know, you know, I know it's not easy. I know, you know, we're living in Babylon and hell and shit, but you got to occupy your mind. The Lord said, occupy till I come. The scriptures say, idleness teaches much evil, much wickedness. The, the scriptures say, if you have a servant, set him to, to, to labor, lest he become idle. For idleness teaches much wickedness. Uh, Sirach 33, 33rd chapter. You know, if you have a servant, set him to work, lest he become impudent, lest he become idle, man. He don't do shit. Idleness is the devil playground. Why do you think these little nigglets out here are running around killing themselves, destroying the community? Because they don't have shit to do with their lives. You know? The, the government, the white man, you know, he just throws them out on the street. He don't give them nothing. You know, he's just, oh, I gotta do a video about New York City. I'm gonna leave that for later. But they're giving, they're giving these criminals uh, $2,500 every month. $2,600, I think. $2,600 every month when they get out of prison. <laughs> you know, it, it, they're just throwing these convicts out. Eleven thousand convicts. We've got to release them by the end of the year. I mean, it's the white man system for you. Collapsing. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, uh, it's a system that don't work. It doesn't work. You know, and that's why it produces a lot of these little criminals, these little gremlins that that are idle. They're idle. They don't have nothing to do with their lives. So they start raping, raping people and shit, raping them. You know, they start raping these women. You know, they start committing these crimes, extorting businesses and shit, selling drugs, because at the end of the day, they don't have anything to do. They're idle. You know? They're idle. So, Sirach 23 and 6, let not the greediness of the, of the belly, nor the lust of the flesh take hold of me, and give me not thy servant over to an impudent mind. Hear, O children, the discipline of the mouth. He that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips. Right. So the discipline is all about discipline. You know. Hey, discipline save your life. Last night a DJ saved my life, like that one song, <laughs> like that 180 song. Well, hey, discipline will save your life, bro. You know. Discipline, man. Keep your ass from becoming a rapist. You know, now your ass is in some jail in Puerto Rico in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Talking about, I didn't touch those kids. I didn't touch them kids. <laughs> I didn't touch them women. You know, hey, look, bro. Everything, anything can happen. In, anything can happen at any time. You know, your ass too lustful and shit. And, and then some girl says you raped her and shit because you in the wrong place, at the wrong time, messing with the wrong people. Now your ass got a case on you because uh, so and so said that because you couldn't fucking control yourself being around the wrong type of people. So discipline and save your life, bro. You know? To keep you from diseases. Another thing that comes with being undisciplined. Diseases. Disease. STDs. There's many of them out there. You got gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, and some of them are invisible. You couldn't even give it, you can't even tell. It's, that, as it says in Romans 1 26, 27 on down. It says that. The, they left the natural use of the woman, burned their lust one towards another, uh, receiving the recompense uh, uh, that which was meat on them. What's that? The STDs. The, the recompense of being a mo is an STD. When you stick in your rod where it don't belong, you get diseases out of there. When you have sex with another man or woman, then you get diseases. See, when you uh, when you lustful. And then you can't control it. You you end up having sex with another man, woman, and then that woman end up having some shit, and then you get it, you know. And the Lord will have that woman lie to your ass and be like, "No, I don't have shit." And then boom, you end up all messed up and shit at the doctor's office. A couple couple days later, talk about oh, in cold sweats. Oh shit, because couldn't control yourself. You gotta control it. You gotta control it. You gotta control it. And these women are fine, and a lot of them are hoish, you know. So they'll throw themselves at you. They know how to talk to you. They know how to, you know, they know how to dress provocatively and put on per certain, you know, perf perfumes and shit, and fragrances. I mean, you get on the elevator, there's like 17 fragrances of different women on the elevator. <laughs> hey, boy, but you got to be able to control it, man, because um, that's your life force, you know, that's coming out of you every time that you're sitting there just, you know, worried about the, 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 the lust all day. 
that's your life force coming up out of you all the time just sitting there just throwing away you know precious energy and resources <laughs> real shit real shit but that's a problem in today's world bro amongst these young men you know because of this uh this devil has made it too sex too readily available in the ancient world we was actually working for our lives and working for the for things that's productive in today's world shit is too easy you're just sedentary all day sitting there playing a the fucking game stream watching case and that or this streamer that streamer you're watching these niggas and then your mind get, gets all perverted and shit <laughs> your mind gets all perverted now you start touching on yourself and shit at at all times of the day here it is you got people that touch themselves four or five times a day I, that's unhealthy man that's unhealthy unhealthy man you know the, the the natural way is with a woman. You get a woman, you deal with the woman. And that's a real thing, real connection that y'all got. And your, you know what I'm saying? Your mind is not destroyed because it's an actual real thing that's happening in front of you. So your body is not being deceived into thinking like, oh, I'm, I'm getting a woman every five minutes. And da, 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 da. So you actually able to have a real interaction with a damn woman. Wow, you know? And then you won't have erectile dysfunction. You, know? you won't have no erectile dysfunction. Okay, you don't need to call no hymns and, and get some pills and shit. Viagra. You shouldn't be 20 some years old with Viagra. You know, unless you like super obese. But that's just, that that's some that's a topic for another video. You know, but but you shouldn't be super obese. You know, unless you're super obese, then you shouldn't be having no problems with your uh with your with your members. You know, with your members, you shouldn't you should you shouldn't be having. You shouldn't be having no problems with the, with the, with, with the member, you know. Just by looking at a woman, you should just be aroused enough to, you know, when she come out that bathroom looking all all all, all good and she start twir twirling around and shit, you should already be ready. You should just be ready. She don't even need to touch you. If if y'all if y'all really you know if you really like her like that and you know she really good looking, you don't even need none of that shit. But here it is, you know, in this world, in today's world, you know. Given that overexposure of this sexual uh, activity that we got going on, um, you know, you got a lot of young men experiencing uh, flaccid uh, rides, man, which causes uh, a lot of turmoil for a man in his life, you know. So to avoid all that, you know, it's good for you to live a healthy lifestyle. It's good for you to get you a woman. It's good for you to take care of business, work a job, or, you know, find you something to do with it, work with your hands. You know, get a craft, get a, uh, you know, find some type of uh, something to work in. Occupy your time, you know, so you ain't out there selling drugs and shit. You know, get some honest day of work in, you know, go to the gym and shit. Do something, bro. But occupy your time with shit that's uh, profitable for you. And also, women are not really profitable for you. The only time women are really profitable for you is in that bedroom, you know. Other than that, they're not really profitable for you. They don't really provide shit else except headaches, you know. So. <clears throat> when you sit there giving your energy to them <laughs> in the form of the pixel chicken choking, you know, it's not a good thing, man. So, again, he never resists pleasure kind of his life. Okay. So, I rank 19 and 5. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, 1 John 2 and verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. The world pass away and the lust thereof, but he that do the will of the most high abide forever. So the lust of this world pass pass away. You know? So a lot of these spirits that hop on you is because, you know, the, the, the world, the way the world is, like, you know, spirits hop on you from other people, from the shit that you see, from, uh, uh, the shit that you consume. You know, that's why you have parental guideline and ratings on the different movies and stuff like that. Like you'll have you'll have movies will have like you know rated R or whatever NC seventeen and you know parental guide because you know a certain age you shouldn't be seeing certain things but in this world uh, 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 we've been exposed to too much sex too early too much too much weird stuff too early way too early man way too early so your brain's destroyed at an early age you're doing drugs at an early age and all that so to combat all that you know you got to use the scriptures. You got to resist pleasure so you can crown your life. <laughs> you know, it says Second Peter 2 and 10, it says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanliness. 
and despise government. Presumptions are they self-willed. They are not evil, afraid to speak evil of dignity. Okay, these people that are, are consumed by their lust, the spiritual demon Satan ends up destroying them. You know, to the point where they, they eventually they don't they ain't even afraid to speak ill of the truth. They ain't even they, they, they don't believe in the scriptures no more and shit like that. And uh, they end up uh, they end up becoming niggas, you know, because your heart is taken by the lust of concupiscence, right? As the Gentiles, which know not the Most High, our First Thessalonians four and four, it says that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel. You know how to possess your vessel, okay? If you know how to possess your vessel, you don't go around graping people and shit like that, knowing that you could go to prison. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you could get in trouble with the with the with the with the family. You could, you know what I'm saying? There's all kind of shit repercussions behind what you do. You know, you know how to possess your vessel in sanctification and honor. Fifth verse, not in the lust of concupiscence. Even as the, our people don't know the most high, so they sit there all day and choke the chicken. They sit they sit there all day and lust after other men's women, do things that's unproductive, ultimately leads them down the, the, the wrong path, you know. <clears throat> so not in the lust of concupiscence, man. Even as the Gentiles which know not the most high, man. Uh, Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk ye in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the lust... The flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other that you would not do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you're not under the law. But you always got to go back to the scriptures because here it is. You know that shit is wrong. You know it. You know that it's wrong. You know that, you know, it's not necessarily spiritual to, to be doing these kind of things. You know, it's not it's not it's not righteous, but. That flesh is going it's always going to come back. That's why we need to get out of these bodies here, because. No matter how much you know that this shit is not right, you're always going to be tempted by this flesh to do it. Guarantee you, two in the morning comes, your ass wakes up, you're going to be thinking about some fat booty bitch. And you're going to be thinking about choking that chicken. So you got to go back to understand, like, no, 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 this is not, this is not right. The flesh wants what it wants, but the spirit wants other things. The flesh lusts against the spirit. You know? <laughs> but that flesh is always going to be there. That's why you always got to Go back to the scriptures, you know, and this is why ultimately we need that change because, you know, as long as we're here in these bodies, you're always going to be fucking getting attacked by these damn wicked thoughts that you have up in, up in your head. All right. Romans 7 and verse uh, uh, 18. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing, but to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would do not, for the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that what I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law which is that when I do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of the Most High after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank the Most High through the Lord, Yahushua Mashiach. So then with the, with the mind, I myself serve the law of the Most High, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Right, so the Apostle Paul said, look, exactly just what we said just now, right? Okay, no matter how you hard you try and all this, that tickling little sensation and shit is always going to come to you, you know, in the back of your head, like, look, oh, ain't nobody around. Ain't nobody gonna find out. Da -da -da -da, you know, you're always gonna get attacked by the by the flesh. Why we ultimately need to change, man. So um lust not after uh the flesh, man. Okay. Um from uh first Corinthians 10 and verse um six says, Now these were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also have lusted. Yeah, yeah, sure do. Sure do, man. Sure do. All right. So again, uh, I'm gonna leave you with uh Cyrac 23 and 6. It says uh five. It says, turn away me from evil, from vain hopes and concupiscence. There you go. Uh first does only four and five, right? The lust of concupiscence, as the Gentiles have. Uh the two-third niggas, there's not the truth. It says, Thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. 
Let not the greediness of the belly nor the lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not me over thy servant to an impudent mind. All right. Let not the lust of the flesh take hold of me nor the greediness of the belly. Eating too much, you get fat. Uh, lusting, you, you you end up with fucking four or five kids. You can't pay for the bills. Now you're in prison for child support and back pay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's, ultimately, it's best to have... Um, to resist pleasure, you could crown your life. Start right 19 and 6. So with that, a call line lie howl by Shim, how shy by Shim, with cock with dash. So on to the pastor of the great millstone peace. Salutations to the elect. Beware of choking the chicken too much, man. Unhealthy. All right. Hey, so with that, hey, shalom. Shalom.